All right, guys. So we are here at your Richmond Hill abandoned station on the former LIRR's Lower Montauk Branch. So for today, we're not going to be visiting. We're not going to be going up there and visiting the actual Richmond Hill station, but we're just going to walk around and we're going to check out the abandoned station of once again Richmond Hill. Because of what's going on with the queue, where it's suspended between Prospect and Stillwell, we had to do like a huge, huge reroute. We had to go uh, on the 2, then the Franklin Shuttle, and then the C, and then the J. So it took us like about, what, almost like an hour to get here. We did notice that once we left 111th Street Station on the J, as we were making our way towards 121st, which is actually down here, we did notice that we saw the, the bridge, because it goes somewhat of like an adjacent type of pattern, right? Like it, it crisscrosses like this. And so once we were, were arriving towards 121st Street, we did see the abandoned station of Richmond Hill. And we were like, wow, that is it. Because all this time we saw it through Google Earth or through Wikipedia, through pictures, or through that uh, website where they show the former LIRR stations through pictures and, of course, history. There you have it. The one thing that they only have in this station is uh, is just the platform itself and the canopy. And you do see that if we were to walk this way, so let's get it going. And if you zoom in, Carmen, right there, you can see it, right? So where we are in position, that is where you have the canopy of the platform of Richmond Hill. This is all it. And there you see the J passing by. So that's how we got here with the J and we got off at 121st. So what we're going to do is we are going to make our way this way and we're going to walk and we're going to make it underneath the bridge and we're going to show you how it looks. So you do see that this trestle shows how old the station could be. And um, at least what's good is that the bridge looks up to date, don't you think? It looks at least well maintained. It looks stable. Here you have... Um, the columns for the trestle itself here you can see look how old that is but uh, in terms of the material it still looks fine to me i mean it doesn't look that bad here's what we're talking about where they do have it gated because if this were to be exposed and people obviously would want to run down here or of course you probably would see homeless you know uh, make up their camps here and of course stay down here now as we see underneath look how that looks that looks kind of bad it looks like it's starting to uh deform and you do see some cracks and you do see that the pipes i'm not sure what that was for but there you see it that looks all rotten uh you see a lot of uh, rust on the pipes too so that looks not that good and then here you know you have uh, some garbage going on now as we look through here it's going to be the same thing we're going to make our way down there but let's actually now head to the opposite side and uh show you the trestle from this point of view and it looks like what that, that used to be a theater look at that but it looks like it no longer exists unfortunately and um this is how the trestle looks on the opposite side here you have the bridge like i said this looks like it's up to date so i think they're really doing this because you still have uh some freight going through here as well now you do see that when we cross over to the other side you're also going to see a fenced gate they do that so that people don't go under and try to figure out their way to go up there what we're going to do here is we are going to cross the street. You do see that, that this trestle, yeah, not only does it look cleaner, but it keeps going and going and going. Because the thing is this, <clears throat> this is the Lower Montauk branch. The only thing is once it, reach, once it leaves uh, Richmond Hill, then it's going to be going to, to Glendale. Uh, Fresh Pond, and then I believe it's Haberman, and then Penny Bridge, and then of course LIC, if it goes towards this direction. If the trains go in this direction, then after Richmond Hill, it would be Jamaica if it's the lower Montauk branch. And look, here we can also see the platform on this point of view. And look how old it is. And I should also tell you that it's been here for a very, very long time. So you want to cross? Let's do that. And we're also going to show you this side too. Now you do see that here, in the sense, actually look, check this out. So if we go here, you can see that you have the 1923. <laughs> you see that, right? So it looks like to me, this, I believe, used to be an entrance uh, for your Richmond Hill train station. I think this had to be an entrance because if you see something like that implemented in a wall, then that means, I guess, 
this had to be one of the many entrances to this train station. Now, this is what I was referring to. This, they have it gated so that, like I said, people don't get their way inside of here and try to create camps. This over here too, here it says 1923 as well. So from my indication, from what I could tell, this had to be some sort of entrance so that people could get inside of the station itself. And as we, as we exit from here, we are also gonna take a look right here too. As you guys see, the trestle keeps going and going. Like what the cameraman said, it looks pretty clean over here. And I think we should come up here to the sidewalk because we might have some cars passing by. On this angle too, here we can also see uh, the platform too. The canopy where you have the station itself. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to pause and we're actually going to head up there and we're gonna show you what was also one of the former entrances of the station itself. Why we're showing you this part is because here is where both bridges overlap, more of an adjacent angle. So the bridge that you see in the silver or the bridge that's lower of the green, the lower one is the LIRR's former lower Montauk branch. And there you see it. It's an 11 feet, two inch clearance. Bridge on top, the green one, where you have the trestle, that is the J line. That is the J line. And so there's where we were able to figure out. Where we're actually standing right now we are on Leffords Boulevard and uh, Baggage, ba Babbage Street. So what we're going to do is we are going to cross and we're going to show you guys that exit that's also closed on uh, this side of the station. Here, we could have ourselves a better indication of where the tracks split. So here, this is the track that takes you towards LIC if the line still existed. This track that you see over here is the track where you have trains going towards Jamaica. It's this one. And it's really interesting how they both down there, it was like it was like this. But once you leave the station, because look, here's the platform. This is the end of the platform for your Richmond Hill LIRR station. And there you can see, look, that I believe must be the oldest railing that we've seen in the station on the Long Island River, right? Look. Look how old that looks. That, that makes that makes the railings at Floral Park look like amazing. So there it is. That is the end of the platform for Richmond Hill. And it's kind of crazy how you have a railing just oddly just there. Again, it's it's, a, it's in the purpose of protecting people that, again, if they were to go up there. But I do find it interesting that at the end of the platform, the track splits and it goes on a different set on the trestle. One over here and one over there. I could also give an indication. The other reason why that's the case is because of the design of the station. It is an island platform, so it makes a lot of sense that they did it this way. Now, where we are, this is, from what I could tell, this was not only a former entrance, but also an exit of this station of Richmond Hill LIRR. Here's the thing. If this were to be open right now, then I believe there used to be a staircase because I still see the foundation up there. There was a staircase that was past this. People would walk up and then they would arrive to the Richmond Hill LIRR. Because here's the clearance. And if you see an open space like this at a given train station that you have a trestle, that means here there had to be a staircase. There had to be. And this is how more than likely people enter the station as well. And look at that. This should also give us an indication of we have to be really careful. Look what it says here, no trespassing. And in Spanish, prohibido el paso. But it also says LIRR and police department. So you have to be really careful. And here it shows you the lock. Look, this is the lock. And I'm pretty sure the people that have access to this must be those that are in the Long Island River. And if we put the camera over here, let's put the camera onto the gate, the gated door. There you see it, look at all that trash. People just dump it on the ground. If the cameraman could put the to lift it up, there you can see it. that was what used to be the exit of the station. Even if you do notice that on the side of the trestle, you have some vegetation growing. You have a lot of leaves there too. Again, they don't really take care of it because it's abandoned. Not that much maintenance will be required anyways. What we're going to do is we're going to go on this side. So, this is the other side of where we were just on. 
Here you can also see the open space of the bridge. And here exactly, now if you could take a picture. Here you see the bridge in this direction. Really nice, an 11 feet, two inch clearance. The track goes that way, goes to Jamaica. And uh, all we wanted to show you is this portion of the trestle and the bridge itself. I just like how it goes from that classic looking concrete trestle to the more modern, not modern, but you have the steel bridge. In this last part, what we'll do is we're gonna go all the way down there. We're gonna be on, on Park Lane South and we're gonna show you like what we do with the IBX. We are going to show you the track while we see the fence gate. So with that, that will be the last segment. So here where we are specifically, this is Park Lane South. And as you guys notice, this actually was recommended by uh, one of my viewers to come and visit this specific location because as we tilt the camera, here we could see these are the two tracks. So these two tracks are part of, once again, uh, the former Lower Montauk Branch. So the track that you see on the left-hand side, that track uh, leads trains once again towards uh, LIC and it will lead you to stations like uh, Glendale, uh, Fresh Pond, Haberman, Penny Bridge. The track that you see on the right hand side, that track are trains that lead you to Jamaica. Because for one thing, this station, Richmond Hill, would be the second to last, and then after that, it would be the last time Jamaica Terminal. It's really interesting because these two tracks look really good to me. They look in good condition. As you guys know, they are used by trains that do pass by here. We do not know the schedule, but we do know that there are trains that pass by. Again, judging by the condition of the tracks, they look like they could be in use for this branch to be reactivated again because I feel like that's something that uh, the railroad should consider. I'm going to put an arrow. There is where the bridge begins for, uh, for that portion of the branch itself. And what's interesting too is that we did also see people walking <laughs> on that track because we were over there as we were making the turn to arrive here we did see two people walk there so i was like hmm. so that's really interesting so that means it looks like that could be a typical thing for those that come here anyways but that's all we wanted to show you guys uh what we're going to do is we're going to now shift on this side and show you the remaining of what is this portion of the track for uh the former LIRR lower malta bench Now this is the other side. The two tracks go parallel in terms of the direction. And you do see a bridge on the other side too. And again, from what my indication looks like, this kind of looks like a park to me. Kind of looks like a park. If uh, they were to activate the former long, Lower Montauk Branch Service today, then I'm pretty sure they could do it because um, the tracks look good in good condition. All you have on the tracks right now is the leaves, obviously, because of the season, you know, it's autumn. But besides that, I am quite satisfied with it. The thing that we can also say right now of the two tracks is that there's no third rail. So that also gives us an indication of what passes through here, more than likely freight trains that pass around. Now again, if we were too curious, which again, I don't think we're going to do it, but I was looking around here as we were analyzing this portion of the bridge, we do see that there is a passageway in which you could potentially go down and visit the tracks. But again, that's, that's for those that want to do it. I just wanted to show you this as an extra because it would have been too simple if we were to just show that part. You know, it could have been a little bit lame. But um, what I do like is that, once again, the recommendation by one of the viewers, he did show this. And so what I did was I said, hey, you know what, Let's, let me consider looking at it. Not a, not a bad idea because, again, we saw both sides and we do get a good angle of uh, the track itself. 
these are one of the things in which we would do for the IBX. But like I said, this is actually going to be now a new feature where we visit former locations of what was the former LIRR, Lower Montauk brand. So there you go. That does it, guys. So with that in mind, that wraps it up for this video. Once again, we visited the area surrounding your former LIRR's Richmond Hill train station. So with that, that does it. Like, share, and subscribe.